getting into today's episode of The Young and the Restless. Um, let's start with Nick and Sharon. So he he then told he told Sharon how Victor's faking it, and he's not really he's surprised that he's surprised by it because it's an ultimate Victor move. But of course, Nick's go to he blames Adam for everything. Of course, that's Nick for you. Said yep every 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 um tra every um travesty in the Newman family has has always it's always Adam. Ever since, ever since we've done that, anything that goes wrong in the Newman family is all is always on Adam. So really, Adam's to blame for Ash and Lana. Adam's to blame for everything around, around um that goes wrong with Newman. It's all Adam's fault. See, when Nick says bitch ass things like that, it just really that really makes me hate Nick more and more and more and more and more. There's that complete jealousy, ridiculous, irrational jealousy. It's beyond over the top. Like, and then it makes it even worse when he goes kissing Victoria's white, pale ass. I can't fucking stand her either. Ooh, I can't stand her. I hate her with a passion. That bony bitch. Ooh, she get on my nerves. Especially when that stuck-up mother of hers and Nick's head is so far up her ass. Victoria would never betray Victor this way. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes, she would. That's exactly what she was angling for until Victor started beating her to it. Because the moment um, she was just fine with all Victor's decisions, mainly because they were screwing Adam over, but as soon as he did something that she didn't like, oh, no, oh, um, have you noticed that has been off the rails lately? And that was before Victor started faking anything. Please. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Beyond ridiculous at this point. Uh, um, Nick made the um, decision to go tell that little vampire witch Toria. Anyways, he told he told her everything at the end of the episode, so she's caught up to she's caught up to speed. Oh my, ugh, I can't stand those. I cannot stand these minions. I really can't. So, um, and speaking of that wicked witch, she was talking with Nate about what it would be like if she was born to a normal family. Um, she's, she doesn't want Victor dead. She sometimes doesn't even know she wants to, wants the throne sometimes. I'm like, yeah, right. I don't buy her. BS. That girl is a power-hungry sociopath, just like her daddy. They want... Actually, they're not sociopaths. They're just, they're just narcissists. Victor's been kissing her behind her whole life. And... So does the rest of her family. And that's why she is the way she is. But you see, here's what makes Victoria worse than Victor. At least Victor, Victor is a narcissist, but he gets shit done on his own. Victoria never does anything on her freaking own. She, she creates messes, and then people have to clean up her messes. Victor it cleans up his own crap. He covers up his own crimes. And he's not coddled by everybody. That is the difference. That is why I hate Victoria way more. Victor wants Nate to go meet, him up, meet up with him real quick. And tell nobody that he's following behind them. So... We'll see what that's about. But Victor stands firm. He don't trust Victoria. He still don't. And despite um Nikki's pleas talk about, oh, you're you're just gonna upset everybody around you. Oh please. Go to hell. Nikki. You should have left her on the pole. You really should have. I don't know how she's a legacy character. She makes me sick. To the bottom of my soul. Wish I was born back then to a different people I could have been one of those writers I would have nick, nipped her in the bud a long time ago I've been like choose the next one shit can't stand her either but um but moving on from that I want to talk about Adam and Sally now 
Um, Adam admitted he was bullshitting. See, I kind of suspected that Adam was full of shit. I knew he didn't really want to redeem himself to the rest of them. We all kind of knew that. Um, he was trying to get revenge, but now that he thinks Victor's losing his mind, he genuinely does feel guilty. Um, Adam, just walk away from this, though. Like, I really like Adam. I really, really, really do, but just walk away. Enough is enough. They treat you like that because they're jealous and selfish. It is what that is. That's not going to change. So why keep putting yourself through that? All for Victor's approval. Like I said, you. I've said this before. I'll say this again. Um, if you really want to truly get Victor's approval, you're just going to have to branch out on your own. Victor hated his father who abandoned him or whatever, and he was raised an orphan. And... He made Newman Enterprises a success all on his own. Adam's just going to have to try to do something similar. It's st he could still accomplish that. Because he's very smart. He's very driven. Stop wasting your time on those Newmans. They're not worth it. I, I really wish the writers would just change courses. Give Adam some sort of long lost family member. And let's just give him a new bloodline. A new beginning i'm sick of those those ungrateful newmans doesn't matter what he do he's always the devil even um nick will thank him for five seconds and then go right back to saying oh well everything is all adam's fault like that is just absolutely ridiculous not one thing could be on one man yeah everybody else is so perfect ridiculous but um him and sally they had a really good connection she was really listening to him um she genuinely wants to help victor but he feels that victor's just gonna see that as another manipulation tactic so and he knows that um sally's idea is to have him be a united front with those two with those two bastards siblings of his um I don't get why he hasn't thought outside of the box if Victor if he truly thinks Victor's gone crazy, why won't you talk to Abby? Abby is his child too. I mean Abby hates Adam too, but she's still she's more indifferent than disgusted by him. Like the way Nick and Victoria treat Adam compared to the way Abby treats him. It's a little bit different though. She's more indifferent towards him. She don't care for him, but she doesn't go out of her way to plot his misery or to wish him necessarily harm either. So if you came to her with your concerns about Victor, why won't she go over there and talk to him with him? And she probably would get rid of that scam because he's not going to have that scam with her because she's not a part of his business world. So that's who he needs to create a united front with, not those two jealous pricks. Um, yeah. But one thing about him, he does take accountability for his things. He knows that he tries, but, um, he always holds himself accountable. And nobody else, that's the difference between him and the other ones. But I don't agree with what his methods was with that revenge thing. I don't care how, how big of an Adam fan I am. I don't condone that. So... Just move on with your life. You'll be much better off. That's how I feel. And I can't wait until Adam and Sally hit the sheets again. I know that's going to be hot. But, yeah. Um, they. She gave him a hug at the end of that scene after he spilled his guts out to her. And that was cute. That was sweet. So I really did enjoy their scenes together today. Now, let me know what y'all thought about this episode in the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Have a great day.